All right, so let's get started on Mix. I'll give you the demo. So the first thing you need to know about it is that it's still in beta, and um, there's a couple of quirks. Uh, most notably, to get it to work, you have to be running as an administrator. So I'm going to right-click and run as admin, and then open it up. And there we go. And what you'll notice is there's a new tab called Mix. And uh, Mix claims to do a bunch of things like record the screen and um, insert video and things like that. But, but all of these things were available previously. What you couldn't do before were quizzes and things like that. So let me, uh, let me give you a quick run through, uh, a quick demonstration of it, and then we'll go back and explain how it was built. So let's run this little presentation I built. There it is. So there it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is just a stock presentation, nothing particularly interesting here, um, but all of a sudden there is something interesting. So I can go into here and I can say, well, why did the chicken cross the road? And now I have to get this, I have to get this answered. Now there was a beer on the other side, that makes sense to me. And I click submit and it says, oh, I'm sorry, you're not that smart. Okay, so what I'm going to do here? Well, I'm really, really torn. I'm going to click hint. And uh, chickens are not generally known for their applied physics degrees. Hmm. I'm going to go with, he wasn't that bright. There we go, and submit. There we go, correct. And now continue, and uh, is it true that IT professionals can shake it all night long? Well, clearly, clearly the answer is yes. And submit, and continue. And uh, so that was a, that was a, a binary uh, option, you know, yes or no. Boolean, and uh, now this is just a text uh, box. We can put in whatever we want. And I can, you know, highlight and bold, I can italicize, usual stuff, which is kind of nice, and then I can click submit continue. Now, uh, what's really neat about this is if we push this up to the web, and I'm going to show you that in a second, uh, this uh, data will be recorded. So you can uh, know what the responses were from your uh, from people that watched it. So let's go through and show you how I did this. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to create a new slide. So I have a nice new blank slide. I'm in the mix tab and I'm going to click quizzes and apps. And it's going to bring up uh, four options. Uh, let's choose uh, multiple choice. That's the one most interesting. I'm going to click on that, and I will trust it. And here's my question. My question is, um, why is Helen so oh, awesome? Can't even spell it. OK, there we go. Um, and the answer is uh, UK native. Just It's just the job of being there. Um, distance from Johannes, and I'm Johannes. There we go. Uh, I can add another answer here, which is um, mm, let's go with because she likes cheese. I don't know what that means, but okay. So on this slide, I can see, or in this uh, questionnaire, I can see that I've got an empty option here. I'm going to delete that because I don't want it. Uh, if I scroll to the top, I can see I've got the question, and let's put a hint in. So the hint is, okay, let's use a hint of the queen. There we go. And now when I uh, go to run through this presentation, I can see there's the question, and I can say distance from Johannes, submit. Oh, incorrect. And uh, I can say because she likes cheese. Oh, incorrect. Okay, I'm really stuck. I better hit the hint. Uh, the queen is the hint. Ah, UK native. That's it. All right, so there we go. Now I'm just going to get out of this, and I'll show you how to set the answer because I didn't do that before. So if you go into here, there's a green check mark, and I can click uh, that one. Now the answer is distance from Johannes, which we all know to be the actual case of why Helen is so awesome. Now, if I want to push this up to the web, I can click the Upload to Office Mix, and Next. And I'm going to sign in with my work account, and I'm going to use my own personal account because TGS doesn't have theirs running just yet. I'm going to upload a new mix. This will take just a minute. And I'm going to show me my mix. Click the button that says show me my mix. And all it does is take note to mix.office.com. Sorry, I've got a new machine here. There we go. And uh, in here, I can say what sharing there is. I'll set this to uh, it's public. Anybody can goof with this if they want. There's really nothing private here. 
if uh, you were to type in that URL, you would get uh, to this presentation. Um, I can put a title in, I can put a description in, uh, categorize it so it can be searched and indexed. Uh, I can even uh, embed it into an existing uh, site. And yes, this will work if I click save. We have tested this, this actually does work. There we go. Now, uh, when I click play, it's going to bring up the presentation. And there's a stock stuff, just like we already went through. Bed. Uh, I'm going to say here, it's because he wasn't that bright. And look at that. I'm going to get it right, right away. Yeah, there we go. And then I go into the next one. And uh, yes, we can. And uh, next. And we just can keep running through this. Now, I'm just going to bail out of this because I, I don't want to waste any more time. But let me show you this. When I go back to my mixes, this is where it gets interesting. I can click on analytics. And I'm going to show you the one down here that's had 16 views. Uh, because it has a bunch of responses in it, rather than the one we just did. And uh, you'll see that right now it shows no no data. But it did a few weeks ago when we were running tests uh, previously, the data it was recorded. I tried it as, as a signed in person, I tried to sign in with the TGS account, I tried to sign in with my own account. Um, and uh, yeah, data was recorded, it was pretty neat. Uh, you can filter it, uh, you can export it to Excel, um, you can uh, you know you can take data with you. You can uh, there's some quick analytics here as well, and um, really that's it. So